dear gentle women, good evening. Very good evening. Yeah. We all love sports, be it running on a track or chasing a ball. Sport has a special way of bringing us, all of us, together. Some of us would have played some sort of sport in some time in life, carrying some cherished memories. Today I'm going to speak about a sport that we all of us play. It's about a sport, it's about our life, particularly about my life actually. My life with wins and spins, stumbles and embarrassing moments. Yeah. I entered my life in 1976. Yeah, you got it right. I'm going to hit a half century. You don't believe? Actually, I bought my birth certificate also. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, when I entered the game, the game started with two stick referees, my mom and my dad. They set the rules. They decided on everything. I had no room to play. But you know the game of tennis, where there's Nadal was there for Federer in tennis, and there's Ronaldo was there in Messi for soccer. There's always a fierce opponent in everybody's life. And in my life, it was my brother. So at home, it was like a mini Olympics, actually. Deciding what to watch was, you know, uh, whoever who got the TV remote first was won the gold medal. Deciding what to eat or fighting for the last piece of chicken leg was like a wrestling match. So it was, I often felt I was like against a relentless opponent in my house. But it's not all about competition, actually. Over a period of time, over a period of time, I learned, I learned to, I learned the importance of teamwork. My brother taught me how to, how to overcome, how to stand or how to bounce back after a defeat. Just like some of the tennis players, you know, they bounce back after losing a set. These, these small moments prepared me for a bigger, bigger uh, task in my life. My school life at DS, DS St. Anayaka was like a, a long cricket inning, actually. I was more like a middle order batsman, not so spectacular, most of the time on the sidelines, actually. But in any cricket match, a one moment, a one inning can turn around the game just like that. I saw also a turning point in my life, actually. Despite an average student, I surprised everyone with uh, good results of, in all levels and A levels. It was like hitting a six when matters the most, actually. Then came another life change, actually. I, uh, I uh, received a scholarship to study in Delhi University. It was uh, my version of winning the World Cup. Going to Delhi is like getting into international arena, giving you the much needed exposure. And it was a fantastic uh, experience that I had. At the age of 28, at the age of 28, I was still single, ready to mingle. <laughs> then came a, a sparkle that made my heart jingle. <laughs> <laughs> my cupid love, my cupid arrow found the love of my life, actually. And I tied the knot in 2003. You know, in the Olympics, you have six rings. In my wedding life, I got three rings. The engagement ring, the wedding ring, and the suffering. <laughs> <laughs> but, Recording. <laughs> but this, despite all these difficulties, despite all these difficulties, you know, the Arab guys say, Wallahi lazi, you know, the Wallahi lazi, I am still, I'm still married to the same person. I brought a proof, you know, my marriage certificate is here. <laughs> yeah. So, I think another, another significant milestone in my life is joining Standard Chartered Bank and then getting a chance to move to Dubai to work for a local bank. I think I, 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 I shifted to Dubai during the peak of summer, you know, where even a corn becomes a popcorn. 
<laughs> it was so warm. <laughs> and also the, 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 the city is so dazzling. Every building in the city, you know, screams and saying, I'm the number one, actually. It's so spectacular and, and, and amazing. I don't know how many of you know, you know, we all are busy in this city. We all are busy <coughs> planning what to do for the next weekend. But these rulers of this country, they are busy planning what to do for the next 10 years. So is the vision and the passion towards this country. And, and, and we all are fortunate, we all are fortunate to be part of this journey and the experience. So I, I, I stand here today, I stand here today, I'd like to leave you with this uh, note. Uh, that's a moment of becoming <laughs> stumble. Yeah, <laughs> stumble. Yes, uh, you know, uh, life is a sport. Each of us is a player in that. Actually, sometimes we win, sometimes we lose, sometimes I stumble just like I did now. But but what is important is what is important is the resilience, the team spirit, and the love for the game. Actually, that that's what I want to end my message and end my speech. Thank you. Uh, usually as for the Toastmasters tradition, when someone delivers 